Yes, I'm eating toast. I'm hungry. I'm going to start the video off. Sorry about that. I'm not sorry about that. Never mind. Anyway, I did it. I'm finally in. Everyone's talking about leaps. Leaps this, leaps that. So I'm in. I bought my first leap. I'm going to show, I know, I know. But just let me show it to you. I'll explain my logic behind it. I'll tell you about leaps, what they are. Um, we can kind of get into it. But I chose Twitter. Twitter, I'm going to use Twitter. And if you haven't heard of a leap, they're basically leaps stands for long term equity anticipation security. Leaps. It's kind of weird because anticipation, they decided to use the A and the P. The P should be like an additional word. It should really be like, like lees instead of leaps. But anyway, so I did it. I'm in Twitter. I bought the leaps and I want to show it to you. Basically what this does, this lets me buy Twitter at any time in the future if I want up to the expiration date. So a leap is basically buying a long option way out in the future. And between now and that way far off land in the future, you can exercise this contract and you can buy the shares at whatever strike you chose. Now real quick, I'm just gonna flip this up so we can look at it. So right in the middle of the screen, Twitter. So I bought the January 20th, 613 day leap option, the 35 strike. Okay, so if I bring us over here and I jump into Jan 20th, 2023, 613 days away, I bought this one. And I paid $2,050 for it. Now here's my logic, hear me out. Before you complain and go on and on about like, Jimmy, you're terrible and I can't stand you. Let me just try this out. Let me just, just try this on for me real quick. Twitter is $52. So if you bought 100 shares, you'd have to pay $5,200. Now let's say you want to come up with a way to spend a lot less money, but still have access to 100 shares of Twitter. So for $2,050, I have access to 100 shares of Twitter between now in January 20th of 2023. I know, I can't imagine it either. That's so far away. So what that allows me to do is, if Twitter goes to $100, and I decide, I think I wanna have, uh, I wanna own Twitter now. I get to buy Twitter at 35, and have its value immediately be 100. The other reason, and I'm getting some reasons as to why I did this, so, so obviously I paid much less for this, to hold these shares or access to the shares because a long option gives the buyer of that option the ability, but not the obligation, to buy 100 shares of whatever stock we're talking about at whatever strike you chose. So I have the option to buy Twitter at $35 anytime I want. Tomorrow, 10 weeks from now, eight months from now, a year and a half from now, whenever I want, I can buy it at 35. So. The reason I got into this was I spent a lot less money to have access to these shares. That's sort of the number one thing. And I'm sure all of you can see the upside of that. Now, I'm gonna take you down this mental rabbit hole of mine on reason number two. I get very, this is trigger finger right here. I am very quick to sell 100 shares, to sell a covered call on the 100 shares really quickly so if i bought twitter right now and it dropped ten dollars a share i'd start to go i gotta generate revenue i can't just sit with this i gotta do something and i'd sell the 45 covered call if you don't know what a covered call is boop, right there check that out i'd sell the 45 covered call and then twitter would rip and i'd lose my shares at 45 when i bought them at 50 and overall probably lose money that's a situation i get into a lot so I figured with the leaps, long-term equity anticipation security. If I have that, I'm not gonna be as likely to sell that covered call because it's not really the shares yet. I wanna let this thing play out and, and maybe get a bigger move. I think the 600 plus days puts me in a different mindset. Now, 
don't criticize me. Don't tell me I'm horrible. Don't don't go on and on about how like it's the same thing, Jimmy. It's like five thousand dollars. Okay, you hold it with the shares, or you buy the leap. It's the same thing. You have access to the shares, so just buy the shares and hold them long. I know that's it's it's my brain. Let my brain just do what it's gonna do, and just just step off. All right, let my brain do its weirdness. This makes sense to me. It might not make sense to you, and that's okay. But this leap option is like gold to my brain. It makes so much sense. So I paid $2,050, and now I'm just gonna sit and watch Twitter. And I really don't care about the fluctuations because I've already, I'm already at my max, I mean, I've already, I can't lose more than $2,050. If Twitter goes to zero, I lose $2,050. If I bought the shares and Twitter goes to zero, I lose $5,200. It just makes sense to my brain for some reason. We all know Twitter's not going out of business, but you get my point. So I'm very excited about this because I want to present another scenario where scary panicky Jimmy comes out and wants to start selling calls. Well, listen to this. Let's say we find ourselves in a situation where Twitter is at $80 a share. Let's say I'm up pretty good. Well, now I could say, oh, I'm going to maybe see if I can whittle down this money that I paid, this $2,050. So if we're at $80, you know, maybe I then sell the 100 covered call just to take a little off the 2000 And maybe over the course of the next 613 whatever days, maybe I whittle this position down to where my overall risk maybe is only a thousand dollars it gives me time to kind of work on it without necessarily getting into a weird share situation where i take a bigger loss because the shares keep dropping i like don't ask me why i just like the idea that i've already paid up front for this i'm trying to warm to it everyone's talking about leaps okay you guys got me you did this i didn't do this you got me in, and now I'm in, and now I'm eating my toast and drinking coffee on the camera. I'm doing a lot of strange things today, but the leap is, is where it's at with this with Twitter. I'm going to show you this again. So Twitter, Jan 20, 613 days, 35 long call. If it goes to the moon, say Twitter's at $300 in a year. I can say I'm ready, and I can buy Twitter at 35 and it's immediately at 300. That gain is all mine. The thing I like about the leap over day trading options is that I'm not okay with those losses in day trading because you might pay, because you're trying to get a, a move that's so you're buying deep in the money, you might pay $15,000 and the action's happening today. So, and you never know because the stock can go way up or way down in a day. But overall, the idea that Twitter is gonna gonna drop is probably not super likely. Like I don't think Twitter's gonna go to 30. Twitter's just been gently climbing. Let's look at Twitter on uh, Trading View. Let's check it out. I want to show it to you real quick because positive drift in the market is a real thing. Here's Twitter. All right. So if I back way out of Twitter, um, you can see that from here, Twitter was at 50 before and went down to 16. Now it's kind of come back up and it's now been continuing higher. But really, if you would have bought anywhere in the past, let's even go to the weekly chart. If you bought anywhere in the past, and this is kind of an extreme example, but even if you'd have bought one an IPO, you still would have made money recently you would have gotten back here. But if you'd have bought anywhere in here, down in here, you're, you're making money. Most stocks over time, if, if it's a decent company, a decent model, and they're making money, they're gonna rise over time. Now, I've given you all this explanation. I wanna talk about one other reason why I bought the leap. And that reason is, this is a 35% haircut it just took. This is a big pullback for Twitter. Twitter was at $80.75 a share on Feb 22. It's now at 52 bucks. So I'm gonna get in on this big pullback 
and just take advantage of time. I'm gonna let this thing ride out. We're gonna see what this thing does and we'll just take it uh, week by week. You don't even have to look at it. You can do whatever you want. But the leaps just give you that ability to just let something run and you're in full control over it. If Twitter goes up $5 a share and I decide I wanna take it off, I can sell this contract. I can do whatever I want with it. You're not locked into anything. Now, and that's the beautiful thing is you can just let it, you know, you can, you can take it off any time, but if you want, you can just let it run all 613 days and just say, hey, let's see where we are. Where's Twitter gonna be in almost, you know, a year, almost two years. So we can just see what happens with it. But it's a very interesting way to play stocks when you don't want to put in that kind of capital. Like if we, for example, go, let's look at something like Apple. Like let's say you're bullish Apple on this pullback. And you decide, I don't want to put up, you know, $12,500 in capital. Let's see what kind of leap I can get. And maybe you go out 396 days. So if you if you were really bullish on Apple, you know, you could buy an at the money leap for $1,500. Now, the reason why I don't do that is because the further in the money you go, and I'll show this to you on Twitter. This is actually a really good point that I should have pointed out. When you buy this deep in the money, that's $20 a share, right? 20, a little over $20 a share. Add 20 to 35, that puts you at 55, which is where we almost are. So you have to think about if you buy the leap at the money, say right here for $13, that means the stock has to have a $13 up move before you're at break even. So the deeper you are in the money, the quicker you are to get to break even on your trade. So if you bought the 20 for 30, let's say $33, then $33 plus 20 is $53, which is where we almost are right now. So you're basically starting the trade at break even. You're not going in the hole right away. Whereas if you bought here, you'd have to have you'd have to get to 63 before you hit your break even. So that's another reason why I like to go in the money. I like to get in the money a little bit so that I can get close to the break even to start the trade off. Now, naturally, it's more expensive, of course. You know, I can hear you screaming at me right now, Jimmy, it's like more expensive. And you said you were trying to save money. And I am. So I'm not buying way, way deep. I just spent two grand on a stock that would have cost 5,200 for 100 shares. That's all I'm saying. Coffee. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can tell you about this. I, I'm just very excited about this trade, very excited about this Twitter leap. And if you want, I can drop a link in the comment section below or in the description below from Investopedia on what leaps are and they can, we can explain it to you. I'm not telling you to buy any leaps on Twitter. I'm just saying that's what I chose to do. Because I'm bullish on Twitter, I like Twitter. I think it's had a huge 35% pullback and that that's massive. And so I say in the next 613 days, I say Twitter goes higher and we'll see what happens. But if we get moving and we get, start to challenge all time highs, you know, I could always then put out some covered calls way out of the money and try to whittle down the $2,050 that I paid. So it's just a way to get into stock or have access to stock at a cheaper price. It's, it's leveraged. Now, You'll hear people say, don't load up on leaps. And I agree with that. You don't want your account like, you don't want to just buy all leaps. Because if you decide that you have to act on all of them, that leverage is going to be massive for eating up all your buying power. For example, if I choose to buy Twitter, my $2,000 investment is going to become 50, you know, it's going to become the full price of the stock at 35. So 2,000 is going to go to 3,500. Okay. If you're, if you're committed to that strike price, buying at that price, and buying 100 shares. You're not obligated, you just have the opportunity to do that. So I hope my rambling and aggressiveness didn't, didn't throw you off and, and eating the toast, I hope that didn't throw you off either. But if you have comments, questions, drop them below. I did buy another leap. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I won't do it. I'm gonna wait a little bit. But I might reveal that too. But leaps can be super powerful. Look into them, see what you think. Drop me questions, comments, concerns. Tell me you hate me. Whatever you want to do. We'll see you in the next video.